In the U.S., new winter storms are bearing down on millions of people on both coasts tonight. On the West Coast, yet another atmospheric river threatens to dump heavy rain on California, adding to fears of fresh flooding in an area already drenched. In the Northeast, a late winter storm has left hundreds of thousands of people without power. Jackson Prosco has the latest. From west to east, both coasts of the U.S. are taking a brutal late winter beating. A classic nor'easter stalled off New England, dumping more than 60 centimeters of heavy wet snow, making for treacherous travel on the roads and tricky landings at airports. This is not the light, fluffy, pretty Christmas snow. This is going to come down like a brick. And it is that weight that causes the problem. Satellite images captured lightning flashes inside the core of the powerful storm. The snow, coupled with wind gusts nearing 90 kilometers per hour, brought down trees and power lines. More than a quarter of a million homes were left in the dark across New York and Massachusetts. While ferocious winds and big waves lashed the coast, pushing water inland, raising the risk of flooding. I'm just filling up my bucket, getting ready for tomorrow, those 20 inches we're getting. When you're living New England, if you're not prepared, you're looking for trouble. Trouble has already arrived in California, where flooding is now a major threat. After a soggy winter that has brought record amounts of rain and snow. My worst fear happened. It happened. And now you see what the devastation can do. This is as bad as it gets. A levee breach in the town of Pajaro submerged homes and led to daring rescues of stranded motorists. Flooded creeks remain a major threat, and the worst is yet to come. Forecasters warn there's a high risk of excessive rain and catastrophic flooding across the state in the coming days. 30 million people are under flood watch as another atmospheric river is set to soak the waterlogged state. From coast to coast in the U.S., the final days of winter could be ones for the record books. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.